few months back I recorded a short video on the LED light tower project here. This is something I've been kind of working on on and off and I finally found some time recently to finish off the enclosure and the framework for it. That's something I'd only just started last time, kind of post an update. When I started work on this project I didn't have a particular design in mind. So it started out with a piece of plywood, thin plywood of the lights mounted to. And to give it some rigidity I mounted kind of a wooden support brackets down the side. Now recently since I started to kind of look at mounting of the electronics, it's not been deep enough. And so as a quick way to kind of increase the depth, I've glued on these additional kind of side rails. So that provides me with a fair amount of depth and at the other end, as you've seen a bit, the power supply is fully enclosed. Last time I had this unit running just on the Teensy here. This was kind of generating the animations and the effects um, running through various different cycles. Since then I've been looking at how to uh, how to make this kind of screen more interesting or interactive or make use of it. And so to feed data into here I've added in a Raspberry Pi Zero. It's very much overkill but also probably a reasonably good fit in the sense I could have bought a Wi-Fi adapter for the Teamsy and made something work but this kind of technology is cheap enough and easy enough to work with so why not do it this way? And so the Raspberry Pi will interface with some software I'm working on which will be for a later video and that then feeds a variety of kind of serial data and serial commands to Teamsy. Teamsy is still responsible for the animations and controlling the effects. The Raspberry Pi just tells it what to animate, when and where to do it. At the other end of the enclosure I've managed to squeeze in a large 5 volt power supply. Now this I've had to kind of let it in size a little bit to kind of get it to fit in but I'm quite pleased because it means the whole unit self contained which has the mains power cable popping outside. At the moment there's no really much in the way of air circulation in place for this but that uh, I think will need to be added soon. The front acrylic cover here is unchanged from last time. It's still kind of constructed from like a, a staggered layered section here but, and kind of solvent welded together. This has kind of stayed together pretty well, I've moved it around quite a lot and I've had the odd kind of crack in the centre point but in general I, I'm really pleased with this kind of, kind of construction method. Certainly on its own as a piece of plastic it's not going to survive too long but as part of uh, this, as a piece attached to this, I think it's a, a brilliant system and certainly a method I'm going to use again. So that was the, the, the frame, the method I've kind of gone for. If I was to do this again or from scratch, it would be much simpler. I'd go for kind of a, a single kind of plywood frame rather than lots of bits of wood layered together. But it's, it's how it's kind of evolved and it does the job. It's not too bad. Um, I certainly quite like the finish. And I'm certainly looking forward to at some point finally removing the um, kind of protective covering on the front of this acrylic here. So it'd be nice to get that off. But uh, the next stage for this is to take it back home where I can continue with the programming. There's a few more little bits and pieces left to do on that, but hopefully that'll be done within the next few weeks.